Today we're gonna see 15 cozy fantasy books that will warm your heart from the first page to the last one. All of these books are gaining incredible momentum within the fantasy community and the thing that makes these books so outstanding is that they're not really war-driven books but they focus way more on the political aspects they request. Books created to make you feel good. You ready? Let's go! And let's start strong with the Yenery new release that it's getting popular real fast. And reviews are incredible. And that is the Endless Wide Encyclopedia of Fairies. This book wants to be read in the same setting as a Jane Austen novel. And our main character will be certainly one of bravery. And she will have a very independent mindset. And what we will find here, it's a very cozy, adventurous story where we'll find our girl moving to this island to investigate what is happening with the fairies because she wants to compile them on. And the magic of this book is that the main character is a misfit. There's a lot of banter between our main characters. There's certainty, that tension, that slow burn. And let's move now to Tress of the Emerald Sea, another new release of January. And this is a new novella of Brandon Sanderson. And let me tell you, this is the sweetest book that this author has written. It's cozy, it's fun, it reads really quick, it's a story at its core about pirates. There's this quest and the premise of the book is what will happen if we take the Princess Bride but we make a main character that is courageous and that wants to take for herself whatever she is due. In this case she will fight for her love. In this book we will have great Sanderson things such as the heart magic system that we will see while keeping a Hoyt as a narrator so we will have a very uplifting tone, a very funny lightweighted story that really really will warm your heart. And the next book it's probably the one that has gained more popularity over the last year and it's the book that everyone is talking about when referring to cozy fantasy and that is Legends and Lattes. This has been described as high fantasy with low stakes and this really has created a movement. It's so cozy and hopeful at the same time it has great epic elements and we will have this main character that wants to run away from her past and now wants to open a coffee shop. She will need to build everything from scratch, create new friendship alliances, she will need to fight some stuff from her past and overall it's a story that really reads very fast, it's not really long and that you will want to lose yourself into it. Every page is a journey and you will love it. And talking about journeys, we move to a fourth book which is The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea. This has really Studio Ghibli vibes and it's such a fairy tale story. It is beautiful, it is whimsical, it is easy to read, it is very bingeable to be honest. It has this incredible Asian setting, very rich with mythology, with folklore and the premise, it's fascinating to me. It, it follows a girl that will need to sacrifice herself to the sea in order to stop the storms that are raging and destroying her village. And what you will see in that path will really warm your heart. It's a story that it's very precious to me. It's just so beautiful, so cozy. I guarantee you that you will be happy. And let's spice things a little bit up with The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy. This is a standalone again. It's super short. It reads really fast. It has a very compelling world building and in my opinion it has a very strong one. We'll have this world that if you die your soul can be taken and you can become almost kind of like a monster, a zombie. And we will have this dual point of view perspective where the characters are true enemies but they will have this pen pal relationship. The stay are high, the characters are really lovable, their arc, it's beautiful to see. It's a very unique book, probably the weirdest one of the list and I really recommend. Let's talk next about a book that before Legends and Lattice was the by default cozy fantasy book and really in my mind it's one of the top ones, An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. This is a book all about the vibes. We will have this girl that meets a very grumpy proud fae and the relationship between the two will be hilarious. There's going to be a quest at its core and really the stakes are not super 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 high. This is a book that it's mainly around political intrigues and how our characters interact with each other was so freaking good. Read it in a day. And this next book recommendation was a book that when I read it brought this happiness to me when I really really needed it and that is Half a Soul. This is set in a Regency period but it has fairies. So in terms of vibe 
archetypes, it's very similar to the first book that we mentioned, but this one will be set way more within the Regency period. We will see balls, we will see these different characters that are really like lords, and it's super fun. The premise of this book is that an evil fae crossed a path with our main girl and tried to steal her soul, but he was only able to steal half, and as a result, our girl is now kind of like a little bit weird. She has her emotions damped, and she does not know a lot how to react or how to behave and also it was super refreshing it's quick it's hopeful and it was super good and let's see next probably the most popular cozy book of this list one that has stolen the hearts of adult readers young adult readers it's not really easy to settle this book as a category within fantasy and that is house in the cerulean sea by dj clune we will have this beautiful setting, this house in the Cerulean Sea that holds these different children that are magical and these children are hilarious and they are super cute and can easily make you cry but in a way that you're happy that you're crying. As a main character we'll have a middle-aged man that is kind of like rethinking his life, his decisions and throughout the story we'll see this arc of him understanding different stuff, knowing love and Ah, oh, so precious. Now, I was on the fence with the next book because it is cozy and it certainly is happy at times, but I reckon it's way more darker. So let me know down below in the comments if you believe this is a book that belongs in this list. And that is Nettle and Bone. At its core, it's a quest and we will have a group of misfits going through that journey. We will have this very important mission of a main girl trying to save her sister while avoiding war, but she will cross path with these people that are hilarious. It's very bingeable and it's a good read. And let's go to the other end of the spectrum with the sweetest book, which is Six Crimson Cranes. This is the first book in a duology. It's a book that it's super easy to read, that will have a cinnamon roll as the main character. And the magic system, the premise of the story, it's pretty fascinating, which is that our girl has been cursed and she cannot speak because for each word that she speaks, each of her brothers that are now turned into cranes will die. So she will need to find a cure. She will need to recover her place on the throne. You know, but at the same time, everything is done with such beautiful, vivid descriptions of the environment, of her surroundings. And it's a story that it's cozy. Another book that it's really gaining a lot of momentum within cozy fantasy is The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. This is also standalone and it is precious. For me, it's House in the Cerulean Sea plus witches. We will have Argyll, who is a witch in this world where witches exist, but they don't want to disclosure that they are witches. But she will find herself in the situation where she will need to train small witches and it's very cute. I feel it's this perfect read for a rainy day or just for a Sunday. It reads super fast, it's super easy to get lost in the book and overall our main character, it's courageous, she's funny, she's unique and we're really getting super close to my favorites. But before we get there, let's mention the book of tea. This is also a duology and although overall the story it's not five stars, I really enjoyed this first book. I thought it was sweet, it was heartbreakingly beautiful and the magic it's super interesting it's based on tea and our main girl has the mission to become the greatest tea master in the empire because if she does she will get a boon and she will try to save her sister this book for me felt as therapy as well i read it and i felt at peace and then let's go to my favorite three cozy books the first one it's Payback Switch. This book, it's such a hidden gem. I'm not sure why it isn't getting as much popularity, but it's truly beautiful. It's funny, it's cozy, it's very entertaining, it's short, it's bingeable, it's a mix of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Everything fell under the cozy umbrella of small town magic. A must read cozy fantasy read for me is Stardust by Neil Gaiman. We'll have this portal fantasy, this misfit that will embark himself in this journey, in this quest to find himself, to find love, to meet pirates. There's also witches. There's this tournament at its core. There are so many good elements. And Neil Gaiman has this unique ability to craft worlds that are 
beautiful, that are really inspiring and that make you laugh, make you cry. I love this. And last but not least, let's go to my obsession. I cannot stop thinking, talking about this book. And that book, it's A River Enchanted. This is a duology and it's perfection. The world building, it's beautiful. It's this kind of book that will leave you with the feeling of peace. And there's this mystery that needs to be unraveled at the beginning. And it will follow different points of view, all of them really new ones, really rich. It has a spirits in music and it's gorgeous. And that wraps up these 15 fantasy cozy books that I hope you read and enjoy. Please let me know down below if you read any of these books and you've enjoyed it or if there are others that you recommend because I am loving this so so much.